Hey, Lenny Gale, Life is No Yoke. This is the Vitamix Ventures V1200, and we're gonna open it up and talk about who it's for, who it might not be for, and we have our baby here because we couldn't get a babysitter. Okay, so we're gonna open up the box. We're gonna go fast because we don't know how long he can last. I want, I want to say one thing before I open this up, and that's, this feels, this is, we've had this for a while, and it almost feels a little weird to open it up because the V1200 is, right now, a Costco model. It's the model that the Costco Roadshow reps sell, and it's out of our territory. You can get it direct through Vitamix, the way that we sell, but it's way, way, way more dollars than the price that you get it from those Costco guys. And there's a reason for that. It's their territory. This is their model. But we get tons of questions about it. And so we want to show you what it's like, compare it to other Ascent models, and uh, answer some common questions that we're getting. Maybe it's right for you. Maybe it's not. We'll talk about it. Cool? Okay, now that I've gotten all emotional about this model... Okay, first things first, should we open this thing up? This is a nice looking thing. We'll show you the front and the back and the sides. Here you go. Front, what's that, yawn? Uh-oh. Yawn means we got about four minutes, so we'll go fast. All right. Oh, it's white. We got a white one, cool. Okay, okay. All right, ready, buddy? Let's talk about this. Who might the Vitamix V1200 be for? Before we talk about who it might be right for and who it might not be right for, I wanna say that the Venturist is sort of like a, a sister to the Ascent series. It can do almost all of the things that the Ascent series can do. It just has a different look and feel. It's sort of like the budget model that was created for Costco. Now keep in mind, it has the same performance. It's gonna give you the same silky smooth smoothies, ability to make hot soups, nut butters in large batches, the same capabilities as a Scent Series. Okay, does that make sense? In the past, I've referred to the Costco models as Frankenstein models, and that's because they pull different elements from different lines, different series. And I don't want to, that's a scare you. This particular Costco model is actually very good. The, the quality, blend quality, the performance is great. The question, as we'll try and figure out, is, is the V1200 actually right for you? The Vitamix V1200 might be for you if you want to make very, very, very small batches of smoothies. We've heard some feedback that the 20-ounce container is actually too small for a meal replacement smoothie. All right, more detail here. Why are the 20 ounce containers maybe a little too small for meal replacement smoothies? Well, there is some reduction that happens when you make these smoothies. So if you put 20 ounces of ingredients, and that includes ice or frozen fruit, you blend it and there's gonna be some reduction. 20 ounces of ingredients might turn to maybe 14 ounces of smoothie. We are a household of two and a half and we've only used the 20 ounce containers as to-go containers. So we make a huge batch and then fill those up to the top and head out the door. The Vitamix V1200 might be for you if a Costco rep demonstrated this for you. Costco Roadshow reps make money the same way that we do. They get a small percentage of the sale after helping you make the right decision. Baby flip. And so this is an opportunity to support an individual and not just a big retailer. The V1200 might be for you if you like the look of it, especially compared to the Ascent. It's different, and as we say, the Vitamix is something that's gonna live on your counter for a lot of years. So you better love the way that it looks, and if you do... It's your biggest feedback. Condense your words, it's the biggest feedback. Why else might the V1200 be for you? If you like the idea of Bluetooth connectivity and connection with the smart app and scale, this is a feature available on Ascent Series 2, but yeah, the Ventures has this as well. 
Maybe you can't resist a pack. You can't resist a package deal, can you? No, you can't. You can't see his smile, but it's huge. I know, you just love the extras. The Ventress V1200 might be for you if you like extras. If you're someone that has single use things in your kitchen, like if you have an electric can opener or a spiralizer, single items for single tasks. If you like extras, this might be a good fit. You wanna hold hands during this? Okay. This machine might not be for you for a few reasons. Maybe you have sensitive ears. Maybe you're looking for the least loud Vitamix. This is not it. That's the A3500. We'll get some more on this. The V1200 is about as loud as most of the loud Vitamixes. Clocking in around 93, 94, 95 decibels on high. And if you compare that to the quieter, the quietest Vitamix machine, so the A3500 and the Pro 750, those with the true metal finishes, those are about 88, 89, 90 decibels on high. That may not seem like a lot, but since decibels are parabolic, even just four decibels equals a 40% increase in noise to the human ear. Maybe you like the idea of one touch walk away blending. The Ventress does not come with pre-programmed settings. You can set it like a microwave to set a timer and, and get that walk away effect, but the one touch pre-programmed settings is not here. Okay, a little more detail on walk away blending on the V1200. You push the timer, press start and walk away. It's pretty easy, but to put it into perspective, the uh, Ascent A3300 and A3500, they work in a similar way, but the buttons are a little different. The buttons on these Ascent models are touchscreen, so it's a little easier to get them to activate. Um, and then also the difference is how fast they actually count. So if you wanted to set a five minute timer on the V1200, it would take, about this long. And if you wanted to set a timer on the Ascent series, either the A3300 or A3500, it would take about this long. And of course, if you have the A3500, you have that one touch walk away. So soup, start, walk away. It might not be for you if your main goal is single serve smoothies. I had a long conversation with someone who bought the Ventures and she wasn't sure if it was right for her. She wanted to make, she was just her, she lives alone and she wants to make smoothies for her. She didn't really care for the extras that came with it and wanted to get something that was a better fit. She ended up with the E310. It ends up being around half the price and it was a better fit for her as her first Vitamix. You shouldn't be afraid of the wide 64 ounce container. It's really great at making pretty much anything that you want. The challenges are with really thick blends, nut butters, hummus, frozen desserts. To make those things in the wide 64 ounce container, you need to make a very large batch. If you don't want to make very large batches of those thick blends, you need a narrow container that comes with a tamper, that's tamper compatible. And this isn't a machine that comes with that. For example, if you wanted to make banana and ice cream in this machine, you would need to use about eight frozen bananas. You cannot use the eight ounce or the 20 ounce for that banana and ice cream because those are not compatible with the tamper. Same thing with nut butter, same thing with hummus. Really difficult, if not impossible, to make those in these small personal a blend and go containers. And this is why we think that the ultimate Vitamix setup is a full size Vitamix with a secondary 48 ounce narrow container. Okay, right? That's what we rock. And that's why if you plan to frequently make really thick blends, nut butters, hummus, frozen desserts, you're probably better off with getting a secondary container or picking a machine that has a narrow container to start with. So that's an E310 or perhaps one of the certified reconditioned uh, 
uh, legacy models like the 5200. So why else? We talked about this. It comes with a lot of pieces that don't stack or organize in an efficient manner. So if you want to stay organized in your kitchen and have a minimalist approach, the Ventures Vito 100 is probably not the best for you. How do you feel about design? Unlike the A3500, it's not designed with design in mind. If you're registering for a Vitamix for a wedding, go for the biggest and the best. And as of today, that's the A3500. With true metal finish, so copper, black stainless, graphite metal, or brushed stainless. What else can we say about this, buddy? Like, we, we get so many questions about the V1200. And we want you to know and feel comfortable that it's the right decision for you, or it's not the right decision. So if you have more questions, send us an email. We want to support the guys that are out there selling this machine. They deserve your business. If they sold you on the Vitamix, get the V1200. But if we sold you on the Vitamix, or if Blendin' with Henry sold you on the Vitamix, buy through us, or them, or him. Hold this. Look, Vitamix was built on demonstrators at state fairs and road shows, packing up in their car and selling this machine in front of an audience. This is how these machines have been sold for over a hundred years. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to give you a demonstration of one of the most wonderful machines that was ever invented, the Vitamix machine. They're not a typical blender. They have a price point that needs the value demonstrated. Look, if you tried some green juice or some hot soup in the store and were sold on the V1200, buy it. But hey, if you've been watching our channel or using the resources on our website, buy through us. It's so much appreciated. A Vitamix is a Vitamix. With that being said, send us your questions. We're happy to help you, right? All right, last thing I wanna leave you with this. If you're considering the V1200 because it's the best deal, I want you to remember that you can always get a Vitamix for around 300 bucks instead of whatever the V1200 is running, okay? From a design perspective, oh, hi, you want a puppy? Should we rinse it off? Yeah? Yeah, you're on camera. I'm on camera, should rinse it off. Okay, puppy, puppy, yum yum.